So today I'm with the LDV, that's the Local Defence Volunteers, and they were what became Dad's Army, the uh, Home Guard. And uh, we're going to take the template, we're going to print out a template of the Spitfire plane. This is to proportion. So take the template and put your thumb on it, lay it along the line, put your thumb on it and then just trace around the templates. We also need to put this line in because that's where the wings are going. To get that, lift up the corner of your template, keep your finger on it and then just put your pen just above and then put a dot and the same with the back part, lift up, put a dot and then you can join that line to cut later. And we trace around the whole template. When you've drawn the, after you've drawn them on the cardboard, then we just cut them out and you're left with the cardboard pieces. Um, the line that you put on the card inside the uh, body of the plane for the wings, you just push through the scissors. You might need an adult to do this. So you pierce it through and then just snip, 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 snip going along but be careful not to bend the plane, not to bend the plane. Um, when you're drawing, when you've cut out the template, we also need to get our center line. So take uh, your template, put it over the card. And again, hold on to the template, lift it up, and then you can draw the center line. We need the center line for when we insert the wings. The wings, the curved part goes at the back, so the other part faces forward. And you're going to slot, slot it through the body that you've cut. And to do that, put your fingers either side of the slot on the other side, and this stops the body of the plane getting distorted and then you can just push the wings through and they then meet the center line. The same with the back of the plane. Again, put your fingers either side of the hole and push until you've got that center line. Again, careful not to bend the back of the plane. Now we're going to do a trial flight because we've got something looking like the Spitfire plane and we'll see what happens. Okay, it flipped. It did a, a loop like that. The reason for this is that the Spitfire aeroplane had a huge engine at the front. So what we need to do is weigh down the front of our plane. So Take a bit more cardboard and some sellotape and then just stick it on the end of the plane, fasten it onto the end of the plane and you might need to experiment with extra, uh, extra blue tack or something similar to blue tack. Let's see how we fly in now. And when you fly it, don't hold it in the middle. No, hold it near to the front. Hold it close to the front. Let's have a trial flight. Top heavy now. Get those wings central, try now. Still a bit light at the front. The Spitfire had a three blade propeller but we're just going to do a two blade to make it a bit easier. You cut out your piece of card and you're just going to twist it, twist, twist, rotate it and twist it. And there's a dot for the center of the blade and get a pin 
And if you're young, you might want a parent to help you with this. And just pierce it through the middle of the blade. But wiggle it around a bit because you want the blade to be able to spin. So, once you've constructed your Spitfire and you're happy with it, we might want to think about putting the circles on the plane and uh, putting a pilot in the plane as well. And if you like, you can paint it constructed if you've glued it or sellotape the wings in place, or you can dismantle it to paint it. Um, so I'm just going to dismantle it to make it easier. Here we have the Spitfire, ready for its flight. 